Okay, now you are ready to start working subject by subject to showcase your very best digital work from this year. So I am on the English page on slide five. Go ahead and minimize that. I'm gonna make my um, view a little smaller so I can see all the directions around the outside. So on the left-hand side, it says, when I reflect on my learning in English, I am most proud of. In this section, you wanna describe what you're most proud of um, and reference to your English class and describe why you are proud. On the right hand side, you're going to provide some examples. Now, pay attention very carefully to how we're going to do this. So we are going to give a image of this sample of work that you want to share. And then you're going to add a description of what it is. And then you're also going to put in a hyperlink so that the viewer can go and actually view the document, not own it or have a copy of it. They can just view it. So I'm gonna show you how to do each of those things, okay? So um, one of the things I want to share, and I'm going to, this is not an English example for me, I'm just grabbing um, something that I am proud of from this year, um, from my teacher stuff. Okay, so this is a Word document. Um, it's not an image, so it's not easily inserted. And so I'm gonna use um, my um, shortcut keys on my Chromebook, if you're working on a Chromebook, um, to take a screenshot image of this so that I can add that in. So remember on your Chromebooks, there are two different ways to do screenshots. If you want the entire screen, so all this stuff, um, which then you probably would need to crop the image, right? You can do the control key plus the um, show windows key. But I am going to want to just get an, a picture or a, this section. I just want this section in it. So I'm going to do the control shift plus show windows. Um, so when I do that, I'm able to actually just select the portion I want to get a screenshot of. Okay, and so when you're working on a Chromebook, I'm, I'm not, I'm working on a teacher laptop at the moment. Um, but when you're working on a Chromebook, you know that that does save to your Google Drive for you. Um, so that those will be available. I'm going to share mine um, or save mine really quick so that it is available for me. Because I'm going to show you how to put this in. Okay, so back to the portfolio. So one of the things I'm most proud of is this snake activity. Um, I'm going to click to replace. Um, and it is, I'm, I have to upload for my computer, but when you're looking for your stuff, it's going to be in Drive. But remember, we're looking for pictures to add in here. So I'm going to upload from my computer. That's what I have to do because that's where mine happens to be saved. And it's going to be in my pictures. There it is. And open. And so I can see I'm just getting a little preview of um, that. It doesn't have to show the entire thing. It just gives like a visual of what's going to be there. On this side, I am going to describe the, what it is, why it's so great, like what it shows about me. Um, so I fill that information in here. And the next step is I'm going to hyperlink it to the document. Okay, so let me head back over to the document. You need to check the share settings on this document. So up in the right hand corner, I'm going to click share. And I need this to be viewable by anybody who clicks on the link. Um, so the first option is going to be um, anybody in Rockwell ISD who clicks on the link can view it. Um, I can also just say anyone with link, which means anybody in Rockwell ISD or outside of Rockwell ISD. Um, so you got to think about how you're going to be showcasing this. I think it's probably okay um, to just keep it to Rockwell Independent School District, but you want to make sure you keep it as a viewer. You don't want the person to be an editor. Um, you want the person to just be able to view your document. And I'm going to click copy link. And I'm going to click done. I'm going to go back to my portfolio. And I'm going to right click on the image. I am not, I'm gonna click on it. I'm gonna to go to insert and I'm gonna to go to link. And then I'm gonna paste in that URL. And so now when um, somebody is viewing my portfolio, they're able to go and take a look at that work that I'm proud of. Um, and they'll only be able to view it. They won't be able to make any changes to it. Okay, so I'm going to show you another um, scenario. So maybe it's some slides that I'm super proud well, of. I'm going to go ahead and do this one because I really like it. Um, I already had it open. but So slides makes it a little bit easier to get an image. 
So um, I want to showcase this in my portfolio. Um, and I'm going to go to, let me let it load. It's going so slow. I'm going to go to File. And I'm going to do Download. And I'm going to choose either a JPEG, that's one type of picture, or a PNG. Either one is fine. PNG tends to be a little bit more quality. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and do PNG. So that's a picture and it's downloading it on my device for you. You would find that directly in your Google Drive. That's where that picture would be since you're working on a Chromebook. Again, I can go click the um, image placeholder. Um, I'm going to choose upload for my computer. You would go to Drive to find that image that I just saved. And I'm going to pop that right in and oh, look, it's turned. I think I'm going to turn it. Okay, so let me show you again how we edit it. So I don't totally love how that looks. I'm going to shrink it down, place it kind of in the center. Yep. Let me manipulate that just a little bit. And whenever I'm finished, I can just click off a bit. And now that is a nice image of something I'm proud of. I'm going to type in here why it's amazing work. And then I'm going to add in that hyperlink again. So I'm going to go back to the portfolio mission. I'm going to go to share. Right now it's set to restricted. I'm going to change that. And I'm going to say that anybody in Rockwell see as a viewer, I'm going to copy that link and click done. And I'm going to go back over here. I'm going to click on that image. I'm going to go to insert. I'm going to click link. And I'm going to paste in that image or that URL link. I'm sorry. And now I can click it. And it's going to take my viewer when they're viewing my portfolio directly to a viewable copy of that project that I wanted to share. Okay, so that's exactly what you're going to do for each of your classes. So you're going to work through all of um, your classes. You can change out headers. So, of course, your electives are not called electives. Um, so change it out for what they are named. Um, but same exact thing um, for all of your classes. Then I want you to reflect on um, your data for the year and get some examples to show how you have grown this year. Um, let's think about our conduct and work habits. So not just academically, but how have you been as a citizen at school? Um, what does that look like? And can you show some examples of how you um, are very proud of your conduct and work habits this year? There's a, a page that is specific for maybe your outside of school activities, your interests and hobbies, or maybe your interests and hobbies, you get to do them at school. Many of us do. And then you're going to be looking at your future. So next year and five years, where will you be? Click to add some images. Um, these might be things, you know, a picture of the high school you're going to or the college um, in five years and describe that for your reader. And then you have a final reflections page, um, some memories from this year, just closing it all up for your entire year. Um, so that is the portfolio from beginning to end, okay? Um, again, these pages for each of your content areas, as I went over at the beginning of this video, that shows you exactly how to set up each of these images with an, an image of the work you're sharing and then a hyperlink so that the viewer can see that work. Um, and so now you just get to finish that entire portfolio. I am so excited to see what you come up with.